flash across here. Amen. Okay. So you want me to talk? So we're at a coal mine now. We're still at the Black Diamond um, Regional Park. And this is a coal mine. And as I was looking down here, you could feel the coolness of being underneath, um, inside Mother um, Earth. I was just really connecting with getting deep inside of yourself and getting in touch with yourself. So like if, if we can go down in here, if you just start looking down, you just see this amazing tube. It's called the Eureka Slope and it goes five miles, 5.5 miles down into Mother Earth. And imagine what that would feel like to just get back in touch with that core of just being part of Earth. Just that alone which we'll be doing in the Mayan trip in November 11, 2011, is going into Mother Earth's womb and like a rebirth of yourself. You really get a lot of insight and it's just amazing just to feel even your body transform. Which brings up another thing I want to talk about. Some ways to start shifting your life. I have a lot of ways, but you have, you have to do it in one way, body, mind, or spirit. So getting in touch with the subtle energies, that's your spirit. And your mind is getting in touch with your thought processes and start focusing on what you want. We already know very well what we don't want. So get in touch with what you really want. Okay, that's where you want to think. And ask for solutions if you have problems. And um, remember that every step is part of the path to get where you're going. So every step, even though it might be seemingly bad or good, it's just another step to get, I like to say, every person or situation is a golden link in the chain of all my good. And the universe is conspiring to work on my behalf 24-7, putting me in touch with all my good. So if you can just keep in mind the big picture, that everything that's happening in your life is helping you to get clearer in your head about what you want, because if you're creating things you don't like, then you have a thought process going on there that's creating it. So you need to get a handle on that. So think about what you're thinking about and start thinking about good stuff. And being around people who are positive and getting together with a community of people that are positive and will help you stay inspired to stay there. But also food, raw fruits and vegetables. You knew I would have to throw it in. It's really changing my life hugely, just doing green juices every day and Really, I do more juicing than eating most of the time, um, and sometimes I do juice feasts, but it really starts to bring up your stuff that you need to shed, that dense energy that you're holding inside of yourself, and that is what's going to help you when you shift out that dense energy, that's what's going to help you shift your mind. The cleaner you get in your ecosystem, in your stomach, in your organs, the clearer you get in your mind, and then the higher you vibrate. So obviously live foods like fruits and vegetables, not cooked, are going to be a higher vibration than like cooked fruits or vegetables or meat. Meat is just a dead thing that you're putting in your body. You're putting something dead in your body. So what we want to do is we're living beings. We want to put live food in our body, not dead food. But, you know, again, everybody's own choice. Um, I'm not here to judge one way or another, but... Just looking into this um, womb of Mother Earth here, start thinking about going into your heart like as if you're seeing a tunnel and you're going into your heart and touching to the deepest part of your soul. And ask your soul, ask your inner self or your inner child even will help you. What could I do that would bring me joy right now? What way in life could I go that will make me feel good and, and enjoy life? All day today, I keep hearing these three words, live, love, and life. And I kept going, no, it's live, love, laugh. But I keep hearing, live, love, life. So I had to keep asking, okay, I keep hearing that. What does that mean? Well, in life, you should live and you should love. I don't even want to say should. If you do, if you choose to live, really live, direct your life where you're living a good life, and around really good people and in great atmospheres and doing what makes you feel good. That's living. 
loving, is loving yourself enough to get healthy, eat live foods, get out in nature, take care of your thoughts and your mind, go out on um, spiritual retreats by yourself or with people, and just cleanse yourself and get clear about your life. That is loving. That's loving yourself. And when you love yourself, then the whole world will start loving you back. Okay? And then life. And that's what life is, is living and loving. So, I encourage you, start going inside. If you need help with that, I do sessions and I can help you with that too. Um, but, check out my website, www.healingyoursoul.com, and I have a lot of services there. Besides trips, I do personal services as well. But, start somehow investigating your inner heart and touch your soul. And let's get these souls to enliven and become very vibrant within our body and out into our aura. And then you're really walking in who you are as a spirit, as your soul, and then you start following your path of why you came here to begin with. And remember, we're supposed to be having fun and learning lots of cool stuff. So that's my end of my uh, journey today in this Black Diamond Reserve, and um, I really got to get in touch with the subtle energies here to help guide my conversations with you and get you to what's really important, which is your soul. Have a good one, everyone.